Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing great. Today is Friday morning. It's like, what time is it? 7.32, 7.32 here in North Carolina. But it's great to have you here. Uh, we're gonna try something a little different today. We're gonna do like a like type of, type of vlog type thing, um, you know, where it's just me and, and my wonderful YouTube friends and we're just hanging out and uh, hanging with the animals. And I uh, might do like a rehousing of uh, one of my brachypalmas, but yeah, focusing on the brachypalmas this morning. So uh, yeah, let's let's get to it. Let me see if I can figure out how to turn this this camera around here. So you guys will be so proud of me, man. I uh, I set up this soft box. Oh, sorry, the glare is crazy. I set up this soft box thing that I got from Amazon just to like help with the lighting. You know, so so for when I you know do videos with with the spiders and you know and the reptiles and the snakes and everything, and we just kind of uh, you know have, have a little better lighting and we're not we're not here in the dark here. I do need to uh, change the lighting here. I've got a bunch of LED lights, you know, because I don't know why I just I just kind of like them. Uh, <laughs> So I'm gonna change these real quick. Let's see here, we gotta just get that white light here so I can show you the brachypelmas down here, the Mexican tarantula species. And then we're gonna rehouse this little girl right here, my brachypelma uh, classy, K-L-A-A-S-I. Um, but yeah, so we got three brachypelma species. I'll show you this one first. This is the brachypelma bayami. Mexican fire leg. Check her out. Check her out. Haven't named this girl yet. So if you guys have any suggestions, man, would love to hear them. Beautiful tarantula. You really see that bright red, you know, on on uh, on the legs going into the feet, which are which are black as well. And uh, man, just a just a beautiful, robust terrestrial tarantula. They like it pretty dry. Um, you know, they're pretty dry, pretty dry species. Um, and love to love to make their water bowl dirty, or at least at least mine does. Um, got some cool little decorations in there, the cocoa fiber stuff. And I get these exoterras uh, at shows. I, I, you know, I get them, get them uh, in bulk on ch uh, for cheap, or I'll, I'll get them on uh, online, get them used online uh, on Mercari or uh, or eBay. And you can you can get pretty nice enclosures for uh, for pretty cheap, man, pretty cheap, which is uh, which is pretty cool. I also got a little custom made uh, acrylic top uh, that I made myself. It helps with humidity, so. Uh, <laughs> That it's, it's fun, uh, fun putting that stuff together, man. It's, it's, it's fun building stuff, guys. It's really fun building stuff. Um, so that's that's my uh, my Brachypelma bayami, and then I've got my uh, Brachypelma hamora, Brachypelma smithy, uh, in here, and uh, beautiful tea, beautiful tea. I uh, still need to name this one as well, um, but yeah, I need to need to do a little bit of cage maintenance in here too. Get some of these boluses out of there. Um, maybe, maybe update the, uh, the scenery a little bit. Got the cork bark in there. Big, big water bowl, uh, in this 12 by 12 by 12. So, uh, yeah, and this one, I, th I think this one's very close to a molt. You can see that bald spot on the back, um, but just a beautiful tea. Let me zoom in for you a little bit, guys. Yeah, just beautiful. Look at, look at those colors. Um, you know, love the brachypelmas, man. I, I'd really like to get a, a brachypelma erratum, the, uh, the fire leg, or not the fire leg, the, uh, the fire knee. So this is the fire leg. I, I believe the erratum, if I'm not mistaken, is the, uh, the fire knee. This is the red knee. So that, you know, they all sound kind of similar, but man, that, oh no, I'm sorry. It's the flame knee. It's the flame knee. Uh, the erratum is the flame knee. So you got the fire leg, <laughs> you got the red knee, and then you got the flame knee, which is the erratum. And then you have this super awesome species. Man, that light is so bright, goodness gracious. Might need to tone that one down, put some kind of potentiometer on it or something. That's a nerdy electrical engineering term. Um, but yeah, we're, we're gonna rehouse this little girl today. And she's just a beautiful tea. I'm gonna take the top off. She is a hair kicker and she is a, she is a female. Um, yeah, very similar care to the other brachypelmas. You don't want that dry, dry stuff, dry, uh, dry enclosure don't want a ton of humidity in there um but yeah let's uh let's see if i can get this going now, i'm trying to do this video with minimal edits you know just because yeah you know, i'm a streamer guys I, I stream on twitch i stream on tiktok and um i just kind of wanted to make a video where this felt like a stream but it's purposed for uh my wonderful youtube friends because uh you know they, they haven't really gotten to experience that um, and, um, you know, it, we, basically it's just hanging out with the animals, man. Just hanging out with the animals, having a good time. That's what the content should be about, I think. So let's take this top off here. Let me zoom, zoom out a bit. 
I'm really excited to get this one done. Um, but yeah, gonna try to do this with minimal edits. Um, there'll be a couple little transitions here or there. But yeah, let's uh, get this up here. Try to zoom out a little bit for you. That's the wrong button, there we go. <laughs> All right. So first thing we wanna do, we wanna put this, uh, this substrate in there. Got a good bit here. Now this does have some anti-mold properties, which is rad. So we're gonna get that in there for our new friend here. And guys, yeah, in the comments, let me know, man, what, what should we name these three Bracky Pelmas? Um, you know, my TikTok community has a lot of thoughts. I wanna get my uh, wonderful YouTube community's thoughts as well. And uh, yeah, we got a Repticon this week, and I think I'm gonna go to it, guys. It's in, um, in Winston-Salem. And uh, that's going to be fun. Uh, it's just for one day. And they're normally two days. But yeah, it's only about an hour from where I live. Isn't it fun playing in the dirt? <sighs> Show is. I think it is. I think it is, and I'm going to stick to that opinion. Oh, man, but I'm going to get it on. I know I'm going to get it on the carpet. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right, let's kind of maneuver this around a little bit. Oh yeah, we getting dirty today. Down and dirty. All right, got this in there. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, guys, actually uh, got the volume right, more or less. Um, you know, and we, and we can kind of mess with it. You know, makes makes a little bit of a uh, little bit of a, of, a, of a terrain for her. A little bit of a terrain here. Be like the Bob Ross of uh, <laughs> of tarantula terrain here. Yeah, just a beautiful species, man. Beautiful species. When I saw this in Colombia, man. By the way, Colombia. I'm I'm posting that Colombia Repticon video on Sunday, so check it out. It was a venomous a venomous uh, Repticon, and man, it's gonna be. I'm telling you guys, they. I, I don't want to spoil anything. Some of the shorts that I'm making are already spoiling it, but man, there are some crazy animals. It just, it, there's some crazy stuff, man. There's some crazy stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a, uh, I'm gonna do a quick quick uh, transition. I'm gonna grab a, uh, a water dish and I'm gonna grab a cork bark and, uh, and cut that out and put them in here. And then we gotta figure out how we're gonna decorate it. I'm not gonna put any of this moss in there because uh, you know, the, the Bracky Palmas, they, you know, they're, they're out of Mexico. They, they really don't need the, the same type of humidity that some other South American New World species need. And when I say New World, I mean, uh, you know, from, from uh, the Americas and, and the Caribbean. Uh, so North, South America and the Caribbean Islands. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grab those real quick, guys. I'll be right back. Just, just hang tight. Oh, guys, look who decided to come say hello. This is Mithril, one of my two little rescue sugar gliders that I rescued from some mill breeders. Look at the little baby. She just wanted to come hang out. She was, she was, oh, she jumped on my shoulder. She jumped on my shoulder. Here she, <laughs> I, I can't turn the, the camera on when I'm filming, but, uh, I, I, well, I'm, I'm using my phone, so. And she wants to jump. She's a sweet girl. She's a sweet girl. I just gave her some apples. Oh, there she goes again. And uh, yeah, she wanted to come say hi to you guys before we put this, the tarantula into her new enclosure. So say bye-bye, Mitro. Bye-bye. All right, guys. Got me my uh, freshly cleaned water dish for our Brachypelma Classy. Got a nice little skull hide for her. She's going to enjoy that, I think. And, uh, you know, I can, I can put some more cork bark in later always. And I got my uh, my spring water in here too. And yeah, I gotta gotta come up with some uh, new and interesting uh, ideas to decorate this. If you guys have any kind of like Mexican themed or uh, Central American themed ideas for what to put in here, let me know in the comments, man. I'd love to hear y'all's thoughts. Just uh, put our little girl in. Now she is gonna kick hairs at me, guys. Very likely gonna kick hairs. I'd be very surprised if she didn't. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna position the water bowl. Uh, let's see where have I got them most uh, to the left. Okay, so most of my enclosures I need to <laughs> I need to make them consistent. I've got twenty eight uh, tarantula. Excuse me. Let me just get that down. Uh, <laughs> got twenty eight different species here, and uh, and yeah, I, th I probably need some consistency on uh, the orientation of some of this stuff for where uh, the dishes are placed. You know, like a professional, like a professional. And uh, you know, we can, we can just put this little skull back here. You know, she'll uh, be able to get in and out of that easily, I think. Uh, we could also put it on its side. I've got some tea enclosures that have it on its side. I kind of, you know what, guys? I kind of like it on its side. What do you guys think? It's 
kind of cool, right? We can kind of dig it in a little bit, you know, kind of like it's in the desert or something. Maybe maybe put some of the substrate in there. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of cool. Kind of show the, the skull, you know, coming this way maybe. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Okay. There we go. Yeah, zoom back out there. Try that. Okay. Yeah, guys, like I said, minimal. I want to try this with minimal editing, make it more like a vlog where it's like, you know, we're just hanging out, you know, it doesn't have to be, I don't think like, I, like, I want to add some production be just because man, it's, it's fun to do. Um, but like, I, you know, guys, I think people just like hanging out in these channels and, uh, you know, having a good time, maybe learning, seeing something they've never seen before. Um, you know, that's just my thought. I don't, I don't know what you guys think. I would love to hear y'all's thoughts on, uh, if you like this style of content or if you like the highly produced style of content that I've done in the last three videos, um, I'm, I'm, I'm having a ton of fun making both types. Uh, so let me, uh, let me move this light over a little bit Ow, that I just assembled. I'm very proud of myself. I need to, oh, well, that's very bright. I need to uh, build the other one, um, but it didn't take that long. It only took you know, a couple minutes or so. Hopefully this girl doesn't kick hairs. So these, these new worlds, they, they have evolved to have what are called urticating hairs. Just get that out of the way. Urticating hairs. I got a little tripod on the phone. And uh, they're very itchy. So what they'll do is if they feel threatened, they will kick hairs off of their back. Uh, and, uh, it, it, you know, they want to get that. These pr They're called pruritogens, pruritogenic chemicals uh, that get into the uh, the predator's eyes um, so they can run away. And that's, what, that's how they defend themselves in the wild, which is pretty neat. Pretty neat stuff. So I'm going to just put this little girl up here. This little girl up here, and we will be adding some stuff to the enclosure. Um, but this, you know, just a nice base, just a nice base level here. Um, so I'm just going to slightly brush, slightly brush her out of there. I've got these, uh, got these funny little paintbrushes that I use to, to lock the old worlds. Old worlds have medically significant venom. There's the paintbrush. So I'm gonna just try to slowly brush this out. Now I wanna set this down so you guys can see it a little better. Uh, hopefully she doesn't kick hairs at me. Hey girl, what's up girl? Hey, who's your good girl? Come on, you wanna come out? Wanna come out? Oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh. whoa there. I tell you what guys, I'm gonna put this on its side. Let's see here, put that on its side. I might be able to kind of slowly maneuver her out. The Mexican pink tarantula. What's up, girl? There you go. Hey, girl, it's okay. It's okay, sweet girl. You're okay. You wanna come out? You wanna come out? Yeah. Come on out, it's okay. It's okay. Ooh, a little feisty. A little feisty. Oh, see there, she's kicking now. But she's coming out. I figured she'd do a little bit of kicking. What a beautiful tarantula. All right, we did it, guys. We got her out of there. A little bit more, a little bit more. And they respond to touch pretty well. All right, guys, well done. Yeah, there's the kicking. But we got her out, we got her out. I, want, I do wanna put a cork bark there in that back corner. So let me go, uh, let me go assemble that real quick. All right, guys, got her adjusted in here. There we go, got her all adjusted. She's she's moving around a little bit. Put a put a little bit of topology in here. That uh, let me zoom out a little bit. Yeah, got that uh, nice little additional cave. She's got two options for the cave. She's doing real well, and I'm gonna attempt to feed her. Now I also want to put in these little uh, little wreath like uh, pieces of. Uh, Looks like some kind of grass or something that the breeder had. Um, so I'm gonna put these in here as well. Just kind of spread them out a little bit. Hopefully she doesn't kick too much at me. There we go. There we go. All right, and you guys are in for a treat because I brought out a big old dubia roach to feed her. So let me just kind of try to zoom in. Maybe she'll eat. Let's see here. I'm gonna add some water. Okay, let's see if she, uh, see how our feeding response is. I fed her a couple times already, but not in a new environment. 
So I'm gonna go grab my tongs real quick. Actually, you know what? I can probably just drop it here. There you go. No? Not interested? Okay, let me try to reintroduce that. <laughs> Pray out, I'm gonna be right back. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see if I can nab this little bad boy. Where are you? See, they always burrow, guys. They always burrow. Hungry? Hungry? Hungry, girl? No? No? Okay, she's not hungry, guys. Might take her a little while to adjust. A little while to adjust. What a beautiful animal, guys. What a beautiful animal. I'm gonna put this Duvia roach back. Be right back. Okay, oh, check it out, guys. She's exploring her, uh, her new cave. In that new cave a little bit, which is kind of rad. Just kind of move some of these out of the way for her. Feel more at home. There we go. It's always fun putting these enclosures together. A lot of fun. All right, gonna add some agua now. A little bit of agua. All right, here we go, here we go. I don't think I'm gonna put a uh, thermostat temperature hygrometer type thing in here because you know, my brachypelmas, they really don't need, they really don't need that humidity. All right, looks, looks good, guys. Very nice job today. Congrats. We'll check back in with her, uh, you know, in, in the next couple videos. So, okay, here, let me turn the camera around again. Oh, that's bright. Yeah, this is better. More in the dark. Okay. All right. Well, that was fun. So yeah, let me know if you guys like this style. Um, you know, I, I'm down to do this every day. Like it, this doesn't take me a whole lot of time. We can come in here, hang out with some of the animals each morning or something. You know, if, if you like the highly produced content more, let me know. Uh, you know, I, I can't make as much of that because I work full time as an electrical engineer. So I, I go to work every day. I'm about to go to the gym and then, and then go to work. Uh, you know, but, uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I really enjoyed this. I, I think this style is really fun too. And I uh, really appreciate y'all's time today. I'm not going to tell you to like or subscribe. Uh, I think, man, that's just, that's, I'm tired of hearing that myself watching all these YouTube videos. I'm tired of hearing that myself guys. So if you guys, if you guys think that this content is cool and you would like to subscribe, well, please consider it, but I'm not going to tell my audience what to do. And I'm never going to ask my audience for money either. I'm never going to ask you guys for, for straight donations for just watching this. Cause I, I, this is a joy to be able to do. Um, and so, yeah, I, I appreciate y'all's time today and we will see you tomorrow morning. If y'all like this type of content. All right. Adios friends.